Bună dimineața tuturor! Este joi, este ora 11, suntem la Forbes Forward, seria de emisiuni în cadrul căreia avem ca invitați lideri din business, discutăm despre soluțiile lor pentru a rezista contextului actual, despre idei sau acțiuni întreprinse în folosul comunității, dar mai ales despre strategiile de a dezvolta și de a reinventa businessul, pentru că dacă există o lecție a celor peste 100 de ani de existență ai brandului Forbes în lume, aceasta ar fi că, indiferent ce se întâmplă, și în acest interval de timp am avut războaie mondiale, crize mai mici sau mai mari, o altă pandemie uriașă, spuneam, indiferent ce se întâmplă, economia, businessul vor merge mai departe, pentru că viața merge mai departe și de aceea liderii trebuie să se concentreze în prezent pe căutarea unor oportunități de creștere pentru a asigura dezvoltarea pe termen lung a companiilor. Astăzi avem un invitat deosebit și voi trece, știți deja, avem uh, o parte dintre emisiunile facem direct în engleză. And now I will uh, switch to, to English. Uh, we have a, a special guest uh, today, uh, Jean-François Mas, uh, um, CEO of uh, Decathlon România. Decathlon, of course, it's a, a very well-known uh, brand in, uh, in, in Romania. Uh, it's a, let's say, maybe a, a new brand coming on the, on the, on the uh, Romanian market, actually not so new now, but uh, a very well-known brand in terms of, uh, of uh, sport. Uh, and um, Jean-François uh, has uh, uh, an extensive experience in, in Decathlon, more than, than 20 years. Uh, actually, he has uh, been a store manager in Decathlon France for more than, uh, than three years. Uh, he has been a uh, uh, manager for the international uh, market uh, uh, for uh, combat sports and fitness equipment for, for six years. Nevertheless, he was a, a zone director in, uh, in China, in South China, actually, for, for 10 years. And for uh, three years now, he is the CEO of uh, Decathlon Romania. Uh, of course, uh, um, I think uh, uh, many of our, uh, of our viewers know that uh, Decathlon in Romania, it's not about uh, only about the, the, let's say, close to 30 uh, stores that are opened in the country, uh, but also online, also a big, uh, uh, let's say, warehouse, which is serving not Romania, but uh, actually uh, all, the, all the region, uh, uh, Greece and, and Bulgaria, and of course, an IT team, uh, IT team uh, uh, working for over 20 countries. But of course, we'll, we'll talk about, uh, about that. Thank you very much for, for being here with us, uh, Jean-Francois. Well, Aninetza, thank you for the invitation and for the presentation. I'm happy to be with you this morning. Okay, so um, usually the, the, in, in the first question, we try to cover, let's say, the most uh, dramatic uh, uh, eight uh, months now uh, of, our, uh, of our lives. Um, it's, a, it's a first for, for all of us, uh, a pandemic of, of such, uh, uh, of such uh, uh, magnitude. Uh, how were uh, and which were the, the let's say your key lessons from the from the last uh, from the last uh, uh, eight months? Uh, and I uh, I usually ask this question both uh, business wise as a, a business person as a leader, but also let's say as a human being. In the in the what are your your key lessons uh, for the last uh, eight months? Well, let's speak about me very quickly as a human being. Uh, what I say, I, I cannot complain uh, because I have the chance to, to, to live and have enough space to live. So I'm, I'm more thinking about uh, my team members who, for example, sometimes have to stay at home during lockdown and, and do not have a lot of space for living. They have kids. So uh, I would say that uh, I live in really good condition. And uh, I'm more thinking about team members and customers than myself. And uh, I think I'm lucky for that. Yeah. After, um, I would say the, the, the key word would be a faster transformation 
much faster transformation of the business model of Decathlon. Yeah, as a, a kind of conclusion, we can start with a conclusion, but I will explain more later on. How 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 were these uh, these uh, eight months? Uh, how how let's say uh, how did it happen? Uh, the the let's say the the first days, the first week of of the pandemic, and uh, what were your decision? What was your your uh, your your what was your strategy? Uh, Decathlon, of course, is a it's a big player uh, and uh, a, a big corporation, uh, but. How did you manage to, uh, and what did you actually uh, do here in, uh, in, in Romania? So let's uh, remind first that uh, we closed all our stores. So we have 28 stores in, uh, in Romania. So uh, the 28 stores were closed for almost two months. And it had uh, a very negative impact on our economic performances and our profitability, as you can imagine. We, uh, we open uh, all, almost all the stores mid of May. We also stopped the Made in Romania production for almost two months. Um, so um, I would say that from um, beginning of March until uh, mid of August, uh, we launched mainly defensive strategies such as um, a very tight cost control for all the expenses, uh, such as uh, postponing and even sometimes cancellation of some investment, such as uh, stores opening in order to protect our cash flow. And we also had a, a tight follow-up of all the procedures uh, to get the financial support from the authorities for the technical unemployment. Then from um, July, we launched some offensive strategies. Uh, so, uh, and uh, I will start with um, uh, Made in Romania because in, in your presentation, if I may say something, you forgot something, it's the production. And uh, um, so uh, um, actually we are um, assembling painting bikes. Uh, we are also, uh, um, producing some bike components and some bike frames. And uh, the very good thing is that in spite of uh, uh, two months uh, 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 factory closure, we're gonna make the same level of turnover than last year, 120 million euros with 14 suppliers in Romania. Okay, so it's, uh, it's, uh, it's really very good. And uh, I think you know Silicon Valley, very famous Silicon Valley. And uh, we have a, a fantastic project led by our production team named Timisoara Bikes Valley in Romania. Next year, and uh, I think few people know about it, next year we're gonna produce 1 million, 1 million bikes in Romania. We are not producing only bikes in Romania. I told you we have 14 suppliers, different typology of products, but 85% of the production, which is mainly for export, is for bikes. So 1 million bikes with one, our industrial partner named SMW. Uh, so uh, they have started the construction of a very big factory in Timisoara. So they started in, uh, uh, in August. And this construction will be finished uh, in September next year. So we're going to produce much more bikes than before, including electric bikes, which is a booming market. And inside the factory, we're going to produce more and more bikes components. Okay, so bikes product for export, but for sure we'll cover, I would say, the biggest part of the range of the bikes products which are sold out online and in our stores and bikes components. So uh, it, the project is, is really fantastic. Uh, and imagine 1 million bikes and in the future, because in fact we committed to a lot of quantities in the coming years to which within three to four years, 1.5 million bikes made in Romania. Okay, so why do we do that? Why do we do that? Um, because, and I want to apologize for that, we, 
we suffer a lot from, and our customers suffer a lot from stockability issue uh, during the, the lockdown and after the reopening of the store because there was a boom of the bikes market. Bikes is a green product and for sure it, it was the way for the people to avoid using the public transportation. So worldwide, there is an explosion of the bikes market, not only this year, but it's really since several years. So uh, that's why I wanted to produce more and more locally in order to avoid in the future stockability issues. And the second objective, which is super important, we want to be able to deliver much faster the product to the Romanian customers. Okay, so this is a very important strategy for Decathlon, which is well known for retail, for uh, e-com, for the warehouse, the logistic, but it's not well known uh, for the production. And, and I, we really need to, 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 to explain what we are doing because we are doing something good for the people, for sure, uh, for also the authorities, because it means um, employees, it means taxes, and it's mainly export. Okay, so that, that was one of the main strategies. So it forced us to go faster because we finally, we decided to, uh, to commit to more quantities and to launch this uh, um, uh, construction of the factory much faster uh, than expected. Uh, so important strategy. The, the second strategy, I, um, the, the, the name is uh, logistic and e-commerce hub. Actually, we have a very big warehouse uh, located very close to Bucharest. And this warehouse is delivering the 28 stores and all the online orders. Uh, for Romania, but also you mentioned before, uh, Greece and Bulgaria. Next year, we'll deliver Ukraine. And the year after, we're going to deliver Serbia. Okay. So uh, our e-commerce uh, business trend is very good since 2017. And uh, uh, during the lockdown, uh, for sure, there was an explosion of the online uh, a business, but even after the reopening of all the stores, uh, the, the online turnover share remained very high. It's really very high. So to be very honest with you, uh, we were not ready to absorb uh, this uh, crazy online business. We didn't have enough space in the warehouse. Uh, we didn't have enough people, uh, enough people train. Uh, so it, it was, very, very complicated. And I want to apologize because we had really a lot of delays to deliver the, the products. Okay, so it, it, let's say that it forced us to, to, to change the business model of the Decathlon, online and, and e-commerce business model. So what we, uh, what we did for sure is that we uh, uh, totally changed the mass plan of the, the warehouse. We triple the space dedicated to online. We uh, recruited a lot of people from external to reinforce the, the e-commerce team in, uh, in the warehouse. And uh, we also uh, uh, launched the, autom the automation of the picking process to be able to deliver faster uh, the, 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 the product. And something uh, I would say milestone is that we decided to uh, start the extension of our warehouse much faster than expected. So we started the construction uh, in July. We had 10,000 square meters. And uh, so the construction will be finished at the end of uh, March 2021 in order to accompany uh, the, the boom of the off and online business for Romania and also for the, for the other countries that uh, that we mentioned. So it, it's also a, a very big strategy. I'd like really to, to, um, to thank the logistic team who is doing a, an amazing business uh, for the stores and, and, and the customers uh, in no easy uh, situation. You can imagine wearing masks, carrying out uh, some heavy products. They are doing an, an amazing job. So I'd like really to thank them and, and for that. Um, the last strategy I'd like to mention, it's also related to the transformation of our business model. 
is the development of new ways of selling products. Because we need to accompany uh, the customer journey of the customers in order to be closer to them and to offer better convenience and proximity services. So what we did is that we uh, uh, developed our network of affiliates. Affiliates is people like uh, football coaches, like uh, fitness coaches who are helping us to sell through off or online our own brand's product. Okay, so uh, with people who are really very dedicated, passionate, they have blogs, uh, they have communities, they organize some uh, uh, courses, uh, and they're, they're very active. Uh, second point, and I, I'm a big fan of that, we have only 30% of the Romanian people who are practicing sports, so it's very low. And only half of the population who can afford buying sports product. 50% only, imagine. Okay? So uh, we uh, promoted a lot, we developed a lot our secular economy products, the second life products. Why? Because by developing this strategy, we can uh, uh, have one stone, two birds, I would say. It means that uh, uh, we can provide solution for half of the population we cannot afford, which cannot afford buying new sports products. And this is good for the planet. Okay, so I'm, I'm a big fan of this strategy and uh, we are selling more and more products like bikes, for example, you know, so equipment uh, to the Romanian people. Uh, we also launch uh, a service named Express Delivery in, in most of the biggest cities in uh, in Romania, so uh, I mean it's uh, with a task company, which is company which is uh, uh, collecting the products in our stores and and deliver the products within two hours. Okay, and and we are under discussion with uh, with another company, uh, uh, and I hope that we will sign uh, uh, quickly uh, with them. And we also launch our Decathlon application, uh, which is more and more popular. Okay, so that was all the, the new ways of selling uh, uh, strategies that we, that we launched to be really uh, closer and closer to our uh, customers. So mm, there are quite, uh, let's say, um, qu quite uh, dramatic changes that you've made uh, in terms of, uh, of, of strategy, uh, especially when it comes to, let's say, uh, bringing early the some developments that were probably programmed for next year and the uh, next then then in three years time i think it's it's a lot of uh, a lot of work to 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 make them uh, available uh, earlier but um, coming back to you've mentioned uh, online and uh, let's say the, the 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 big demand that you had over there and the fact that the demand stayed there after the the reopening of the of the store um, just to better understand, can you provide us with, uh, let's say, some, some figures or maybe some comparisons uh, when it comes to, 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 to what happened during that, that period? What, uh, I mean, maybe, uh, what were the, 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 the online sales compared with last year or maybe compared with your estimation, your previous, let's say, pre-COVID estimations? Just to better understand how big was the, let's say, the... Uh, the, the, the number of the of the of the the, the customer that you you had online and uh, uh, what uh, let's say how does a big company cope with such a big demand but not on their let's say regular lines of business but on a new way of business so just to give you some figures uh, it's quite simple in 2017 our online business was almost nothing I and mean, we are doing less than 2%, okay, so it's really nothing. And, 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 and this year we will have a two digit, uh, you know, uh, uh, online to your share, a bit more than, okay, more than 10%. So uh, it's, a, it's, a, it's a boom and even after the reopening of the stores. So it's, it really means that the consumption habits of the Romanian people are changing. It's also linked with the very bad traffic condition in the biggest cities. 
So uh, they, they are, yeah, they are switching. Uh, after uh, it's, we speak about omni-channel because me, I do believe in stores plus online. And I would say most of the time, the customers are starting their purchasing journey online and they finish in the store because the big added value of the store, especially in Decathlon, you have everything under the same roof, all the sports, it is sports under the same roof. You can try, test the product. You have big showroom and you have team members who practice sports, passionate, can give advice. So for me, it's, it's, I don't want, you know, to, to, to split off online. It's the, it's the same. And this is really the, 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 the mindset that we have uh, uh, in the company, clearly. Um, so uh, it will be uh, two digits, two digit uh, this year, and you expect the trend to, let's say, to to uh, to be there for the next year. So, so we, sure. we should we should maybe expect in five years time. Uh, um, what what will be the, the let's say the, the volume of sales that you will be doing online in in five years time? I mean, not an exact figure, but just to understand, <laughs> could it be one third? Could it be half of the of the sales that can be done online? Uh, no, I cannot say that within five years we will reach 50%. In, in some countries, in, in the Catalan, or like, I mean, the, the North European countries, we are already at 30%, 40%. I think in Romania, it's, it's a little bit different, okay? So, uh, but to say that maybe uh, in three to five years to be uh, at 20%, it's something realistic, clearly. And uh, we are the leader of the sports market in, in Romania by far. We are a leader on, of the online. And we need to be really by far the online leader. Because in the journey, that's more and more, I think 70 to 80% of the customers, they start online. You know, so we're, it's the first step. So we have no choice. And, and that's why we are relocating uh, our investment uh, to uh, uh, from, uh, let's say, uh, real estate to logistic to e-commerce to digital um, and now coming back to the let's say to the um, production of of of, of bikes uh, yeah. just just uh, for for our, our, our audience to to better understand you uh, you said that uh, you expect to to reach 1.5 uh, uh, million uh, units in the in the next years uh, this is almost double than uh, what it was produced uh, right i mean la last year for 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 example when when uh, i think that they were produced roughly 800,000 uh, uh, bikes so actually it's a uh, almost double uh, value within a couple of, of of years and nevertheless the type of bikes will be different because uh, let's say the value of the the the, the added, added value and or, of course the, the value of an electric bar uh, electric bike you've mentioned electric bike it's much, much bigger than the, the one of a conventional bike. Exactly. Something that I have to highlight is that, you know, we, we don't go to a factory and we, we, we don't buy a product which is in the factory. All the bikes in Decathlon are prototype design um, uh, with an engineer, with designers. So we control everything. Everything is done by Decathlon. And this industrial partner is only producing for Decathlon since many years. Okay, so it's a big difference. That's why we have very good value for money products, not only for bikes. Okay, it's very important to mention that. Okay, so yes, we're going to double. Actually, we, this year, as you mentioned, it's 800,000 bikes around and uh, to reach 1.5 million bikes. So uh, mainly for export in Eastern European countries, okay, uh, mainly. And also some bike components, the tires, the rims, so frames, so more and more components made in Romania and not only uh, bikes assembly. Okay, so it's a very big change. That's why we mentioned uh, the bikes valet. Okay, to put like in the car industry, you know, it's, it's the same mindset to have everything done in the same location in order to, to reduce the cost, to produce faster, to deliver faster the products, uh, to uh, in, in increase also the, the quality of the products. So, uh, and we control everything from the, 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 the creation of the product till uh, the, uh, the, the, the selling of the bikes, but also the fixing of the bikes, because we are repairing 
and the, the, uh, the second life uh, project that we are uh, developing at country level. So, uh, and these big factories and the construction in the, in the south of Timisoara are existing. Actually, we have two bikes factory in, in, in Romania. So we have a very big one, which will be located in the, in the south of Timisoara. And, and the construction is, is going fast now, very fast. And it would be an amazing factory with uh, also sports facilities for the team members, very sustainable, sustainable uh, factory oriented. So uh, with very good working condition for the, the people working inside. And uh, yeah, actually we, we are I'm selling 30 to 40% of the range which is made in Romania by increasing the number of models we want to reach around 80 to 90% of the range for, for mountain bikes, for city bikes, for kids' bikes. We have a different typologies of, uh, of, uh, of bikes. So it's a, it's a huge market. Decathlon is the num number one bike producer in, in the world. It's 5 million bikes, actually. Okay, And we are building a factory in, in Romania and another one in Poland. So it's, a, it's really a booming market. And super, something super important is the, the launching of the electric bikes, because yes, it's even more technical products. And uh, we start, I think, from July next year. Um, I think uh, this is also an uh, important, this uh, industrial, this production development, it's also important. And um, I, will, I, uh, I am very interested in your opinion about an issue that come out uh, uh, during the last uh, eight months. Uh, of changing supply chains, uh, the usual supply chains. I mean, um, and uh, let's say, let's uh, broaden up the, the, the picture and talk a little bit about the possibility of Romania being, uh, uh, let's say, a winner or in this change of, of uh, supply chain uh, uh, worldwide, because some companies and uh, they, they said that, look, uh, we understand that uh, it's not so good to only be dependent on uh, production sites in uh, Asia, uh, but also we need to do uh, some, some, we need to have some, some productions here close, closer to our, uh, closer, closer to our, uh, let's say headquarters and where, where our business is, is, is taken. How do you see this, this, this perspective for, for Romania since you are building here in, in, in Romania, since uh, you are actually doing it? Yeah. Uh, so we are producing bikes, bikes components. We are producing um, also life jackets in Yash, for example. We are producing top of the range hiking shoes in um, close to, to Bucharest, uh, in Brasov, in Alba Iulia. We are producing some, uh, some textile for wood cycling, uh, for triathlon. Uh, in Timisoara, uh, we are producing uh, cycling uh, uh, shoes also. So we have 14 suppliers, so different typologies of products. And definitely we want to produce more and more locally. Because what happened during the first lockdown? Imagine we stopped the production worldwide for two months. Two months. All the factories, including in, in Romania, we stopped everything. Because we... Uh, I mean, almost all the stores worldwide were closed. We did minus 80% turnover in, uh, in April, minus 50% in May. So, and it was the same situation worldwide. So it was a nightmare. Okay, so, and, and the products were arriving and the, the, the warehouses were full. And then when we reopened the stores, there was an explosion of the business. And I, I will come back to that, why Decathlon is, is performing well <laughs> in Romania and worldwide, so it's interesting. So uh, the problem is that when you stop the production and because many components and products are coming from all over the world, imagine, so for some categories of products like bikes, like fitness equipment, like uh, uh, basketball hoops, like table tennis table, like yoga, Pilates products, we were out of stock. Everybody was searching for this kind of product worldwide. Okay, so it, it, it's a, for sure we already have this strategy to produce more and more locally in Romania, not only for Romania, but for the, the, the countries around. And so we, we have to go faster, clearly. 
So me, I, I believe we believe strongly in this in this strategy, which is good for us. This is good for the people, which is good for for the authorities because it's jobs, because it's, it's tax, and it's mainly export. Huh? I think you know if we, we take only the the production of bikes, ninety two percent of the production is exported. Okay, so yes, it, it, really we, we decided to have a transformation of our value chain to have the products made in locally. And I in, emphasize the components, okay? Because that, that's also, we, we really try to attract investors which are mainly from Asia, from Taiwan to, to produce inside this very big factory like, like uh, the, the car industry is, is doing. Uh, so it's also a, a, big, a big change. And uh, we are also working on other typology of products. Uh, we start making some boots, for example, uh, near Bucharest. Uh, so uh, we had a, a supplier in Serbia, and now we have a supplier in, uh, in, uh, in Romania. So it concerns um, a lot of typologies of, of products. One of the biggest strategy we have, clearly. Um, and I'm proud of that. I'm very proud of that. Me, I'm a big fan of production, I think. Uh, and we are making very, very good quality product, which is uh, for sure important for the, for the customers. You've mentioned, uh, let's say, uh, uh, bike demand explosion. Yeah. Uh, um, this also, um, and, and you've mentioned that the, 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 expansion, the explosion of demand, it's here to stay. Not, uh, it was not, let's say, just a boom. And uh, um, this will also mean means uh, that uh, um, there will be a lot of changes in the, in the let's say, the way uh, we uh, used to go, we will go to work. We will go to, this will, uh, th this means also in Romania, unfortunately, we know that, let's say, the infrastructure is not uh, as supportive to, to the use of, uh, of, uh, of uh, bikes uh, as it is uh, not in Holland, but usually in the, Western part of, of Europe. Actually, we could say that in, in Romania, uh, the, the bikers, I mean, the, 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 the explosion of bike is doing, is, uh, is uh, getting traction despite uh, uh, the lack of, of its infrastructure. How do you see this perspective? A very good question. Um, I, I told you we are the, the, the main bikes producer for our own brands, okay, worldwide. Um, and yes, there is a, a trend in several years that this market, whatever I would say, traditional bikes and, and uh, electric bikes, these, these uh, markets are booming. They are booming because first of all, it's it's sports. And uh, there was a question: Why the cattle is performing is performing very well since the reopening of the stores? Uh, we are doing a, a two-digit turnover progression for online and uh, and. Uh, uh, online plus offline for the stores which opened since uh, uh, more than two years. So um, it's it's booming um, because when you look at the statistic, you can see that uh, for the people who, are, who have a healthy life, means doing sports and they are not overweight, if they are infected by the COVID, they have less, less chance to have a, um, a severe uh, COVID-19 form. Okay, so I think more and more Romanian people understand that it's good for them, it's good for their health to practice sport. That's why Decathlon is performing really, really well because we are on the market, which is, I mean, growing very, very fast. The, the people understand that it's good for them. So they, they want to practice more and more sports. And what we can observe is that, for example, uh, uh, we have some uh, fitness coaches who are organizing some lessons on the uh, uh, Facebook decathlon. So live sessions, practice uh, uh, gym, uh, fitness, Pilates, yoga. And we have more and more people who are joining these sessions for free. Okay, so that, you know, that it means that people, they are really changing, okay, the their way of life, I would say. So they understand how it's important it is to do sports. And then um, it's, it's related to uh, the sustainable development because, uh, I mean, you are living in, in Bucharest, 
the traffic conditions are really very bad and, 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 and worse and worse, I would say. It's the same situation in Cluj, in Timisoara. So uh, it's true that what you say, unfortunately, there are not so many uh, cycle paths, okay? But even without cycle paths, uh, I mean, the, the, the market is really booming. We think that we have around 30% market share bicycle in, in Romania. Uh, so, uh, and we can see that uh, when you look at the, the program of some uh, uh, new mayors elected, they know that they have to do something on that. They know that they have to, uh, to develop uh, the urban mobility uh, possibilities. So that's why bicycle, but also scooters, roller, the, the, the business is, is really uh, amazing. Okay, so we are really on, a, we, have the, we are lucky, we are, on a, on, we are selling products which are good for the people on a growing market. Okay, so I'm, I'm, I'm very, very confident because as you mentioned, the, the gap is still very big compared to Western European countries, to Northern European countries. And it's a worldwide trend. I mean, in, in more and more biggest cities, uh, clearly the authorities are taking decision to develop uh, the use of uh, 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 bikes, electric bikes, uh, scooters. So that, that, that's a, a trend. It, it's not going to, to, to stop. It can only continue. So uh, yeah, a lot of confidence. Um, also, I'm also asking about uh, uh, some other figures. Uh, you, you, because you've mentioned, uh, let's say the actually half of the population that cannot actually cannot afford, right? Yeah. And for that, uh, you, you, I think the 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 the, the, the customer of, of Decathlon, of course, they are familiar with the Trocathlon and uh, let's say the your way of uh, buy back uh, of uh, the, the the way of uh, buying back things and re put them on on, on the market. Um, can you please provide us with some figures, uh, let's say, regarding this trend and uh, actually not the, the figures, but just to better understand the trend and uh, how this business, how big can this business uh, uh, be? Not necessarily business, but how, how big this, this operation can be in, uh, in let's say, a couple of years, maybe? Um, I think what you mentioned is that half of the population can afford buying sports products. So it's a, it's a, when I arrived in Romania, I was, to be honest, I was shocked. Um, our purpose, the purpose of Decathlon is to sustainably make the sports accessible for the many. Okay, so this purpose is super important. That, I, I think that's why uh, Decathlon team members are proud to work for Decathlon because the purpose is very strong. And every time we launch strategies, we try to be consistent with the purpose. So if we have 50% of the population, we cannot afford buying sports products. So we need to develop the secondhand market so that the people can buy sports products, practice sports. Okay. So yes, Trocathlon uh, uh, exists since uh, several years now in, uh, in, uh, in Romania. So I mean, you have, for example, a bike, you, you, you go to the store and put it online. And uh, we fix a price, and uh, if someone buy the, 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 the bike, it will have a voucher, and you can use this voucher to, to buy another product, okay? Buyback is a little bit different. We have not launched this service yet, but it's true that we are working on it. But what we are doing also, are, for example, we, we receive a, a lot of products from online. Customers, you know, they ordered, finally they don't want, they send it back. We are not going to throw this product. So we are, we are putting back the products, Okay, we are selling these products. And also sometimes we have product with packaging which have been destroyed. So we put it on sale. So, uh, so that the people can also buy the products at a lower price. Okay, so we launched all these uh, uh, strategies this year uh, for the second life, I would say, knowing that we consider that our current market share is low, maybe below 5%, okay? so. I think we are the main actor of the sports market. It's our responsibility to go much further for that. So uh, uh, we have a, a team and a leader who's doing a great job uh, to develop this, uh, this newer business model. Um, I would say to provide joy 
for the people uh, who are actually not our customers, they would like to practice sports. So uh, I liked this project to be, to be honest. Yeah, I think it's, uh, every time we do things which are in line with our purpose, we win. We win because people understand that we are doing something good for them. Um, you, you've mentioned uh, at the, the beginning, let's say, some of the changes the, the, in your strategy that were, uh, let's say, uh, uh, that were made during, uh, during this, uh, let's say, this pandemic times, right? You, you've mentioned the, the um, Timoshara uh, bike valley, which uh, actually was uh, uh, accelerated. You've mentioned the logistic and uh, e-commerce hub, and you've mentioned um, what other changes uh, let's say, are here for the next three to five years in terms of, of, of strategy? What, what do we will see different uh, in, the, in the next three to five years? Um, we, uh, what, what is clear is that the, the, the consumption habits of the, the Romanian people are, are changing. So uh, whatever there is a, a second lockdown, half soft, uh, if we can keep on opening uh, some stalls, um, when are we going to have the second lockdown? We don't know. But what is sure is that the uh, online business will, will, uh, will boom um, for Christmas period and, and, and for the coming years. So we will have to be ready and we will be much more ready than during the first lockdown. I, uh, I'm sure. <laughs> about it. So um, we have uh, launched several strategies uh, to be ready for this Christmas. First of all, we, uh, uh, we recruited a lot of people for uh, logistic e-commerce externally and also uh, um, people who are actually working in the stores. Okay, so they are helping logistic part. I explained that we, we tripled the, the surface of the online area in our logistic. Uh, what uh, we are also uh, uh, trying to, to, to do, uh, we're going to sign with a local network, which is uh, 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 available in uh, the biggest cities in Romania, uh, in order to provide um, proximity and convenient service for the customers, okay, to, to, be, deliver, to be delivered faster. And uh, what we are also going to launch in uh, December is ship from store. It's the, the possibility for the customers to order online, okay, and to deliver the products from the store in order to deliver much faster the, the products to the customers. Uh, another thing that uh, we are uh, uh, doing right now, um, our customer relations center will have the support from our uh, sales assistant working in the store, very experienced, very passionate, very technical guys who are going to give advice to the customers who are searching for some information online or on the social network. So we will use uh, um, the support of uh, our team members who are doing an amazing job in, in the store to, uh, to uh, help the customers to buy uh, products. And, and another strategy that I'd like to share, even if it's not done yet, but it's, it's a, a real switch for Decathlon. Um, we have been contacted by uh, some food retailers who would like to resell Decathlon products. And to be honest, it was really not something that we were thinking before. But we, uh, we, we work, we work uh, with our, our expansion team. And uh, it's clear that even in the future, there are some counties, we think 12 counties in the country, where we are not going to have physical store. We also know that we have some cities could mention Galat, uh, Alba Julia, Bayamare, where we want to open a store, but we don't have 
a project with good achievement pro uh, process, we don't know when we can open. So we don't provide any physical solution to the inhabitants there. And then you have the biggest cities in, in Romania where uh, we have one store, but there is a part of the city, a catchment area where our penetration rate is very low. So again, we don't provide any physical solution to the inhabitant there. So we cannot say that we are omnichannel. So uh, we need to find new ways of selling. And that's why, uh, okay, when we were contacted by these food retailers, uh, say, okay, let, let's, let's discuss, let's see what we can do. And we hope to uh, launch the first test. It's not 100% sure, but we are really working on it. Uh, first test at the end of the year. Okay, so it's really a, a big switch because again, we want to provide the best service to the Romanian inhabitants where we don't have any physical solution. I think it's a, and it's worth mentioning that it's a big shift for a, a I mean, big mentality shift for a, let's say usual brick and mortar, right? Activity to, to yeah. go to, to such a, a, a dramatic approach when uh, with, uh, you've mentioned omnichannel, where you see online not, a, not as an, uh, let's say, a threat for the, for the usual brick to mortar, but uh, they work together and also uh, distributors. And you've mentioned uh, uh, different sales channels like uh, affiliates and, and, and so on. I, I think this is a uh, uh, a very and it's an important uh, 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 shift of, of mentality and if uh, such a large and uh, 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 big uh, brick and mortar operation can do that i think for, for it's a good example for also uh, other uh, activities other uh, let's say brick and mortar activities here in romania not necessarily sport but uh, let's say general uh, general uh, 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 and uh, activities, I think it's, it's, it's important to understand that and this mentality is here to stay also. It's not something that you do like uh, uh, speculating this, the opportunities this year and maybe next year and the fact that you don't have a store over there. It's a, it's a long term uh, approach that you, that you are, are having now. I'm, I'm sure there were a lot of uh, uh, strategy discussions about going full all the way, let's say, uh, all in on the on the omni-channel and not looking back at the way they were, because this is one of the issue. Um, um, and uh, I'm coming now to the to the vaccine. There are many people that uh, think that people uh, that uh, the the habits will go to, let's say, the old normal, and uh, we will get back to the life as we did in 2019. Uh, what is your approach on that? I'm sure that the, the, the things will be different. Um, I already mentioned uh, about the, uh, the consumption habits of the people uh, which have changed. And uh, I would say just the beginning, I, I, I was working in China. I saw the, 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 the change crazy. And I remember when I arrived, I said, okay, Jeff, but it's China. And I can see that Romania is also, uh, I mean, doing the same. For sure, they are not at the same level than China, but it, it's, it's a worldwide trend clearly. After, um, when you, what about what's going to happen in, in the future? Um, I, I told you that the Decathlon, since the reopening, is really performing very well at two-digit progression, so we're very happy for that. And again, I would like to thank my team for the, for the job they are doing. Um, I told you that we are on a market which is booming because people understand that it's good for them to practice sport. The second reason why the Decathlon is, is performing well, um, I work for the Decathlon since many years. I work in different countries. I observe that every time there is an economic crisis, the Decathlon is performing extremely well. Why? It's quite simple. Our DNA is to provide best value for money products because we have our own brands. Everything is prototype design by us. So we control the whole value chain. So when you have a lower purchasing power, which is the case during an economic crisis, if someone has to buy something, 
he, I would say that he will think with more rationality. Rational purchasing means, okay, the cash loan becomes best value for money products. I observed that in France, I observed that in China during the crisis in 2008 and in Romania this year. That's why I'm, I'm, I'm very optimistic, first of all, because of my team. <laughs> Secondly, because sports market is good for the people. And third point, because of our DNA to provide the best value for money product with more and more sustainable product because green is also in the heart of the vision of the company. I think it's a very good uh, uh, emphasize that you, yeah, that you did that um, during, uh, let's say, uh, crisis times, people and the clients are much more uh, careful with their, uh, with their spending and the, the, the positioning uh, of, uh, uh, let's say, best value for money. Uh, it's an important position that uh, brands should, uh, should uh, better uh, approach uh, their uh, let's say positioning and uh, because the clients are much more much more prone to 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 looking of of uh, the way of getting as, as as much value as they can for for their buck let's say so correct um you, you've mentioned that uh, after the reopening of the stores let's say the sales are uh, are are, are uh, increasing uh, two digit increasing uh, should we expect, uh, let's say, this year to be closed with a lower figure, with a bigger figure than, than last year? Because last year, if I'm not wrong, uh, I was checking uh, before, it was close to 1 billion, uh, 1 billion lay. The, let's say the, 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 the information from the, from the uh, 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 Ministry of, of, of Finance, the, let's say the, the, the official figures. Uh, this year, the figures will be lower, will be higher. You, you, you've mentioned also that, that during, uh, and it, it's a normal thing, that uh, during the lockdown, the, the sales were actually, uh, uh, you, you, you've mentioned. Collapsing. Yeah, yeah, <laughs> yeah. We're, we're collapsing. <laughs> yeah, and, uh, but, uh, and, and somehow uh, during this, these months, you are catching up. Uh, will you manage to catch up the, let's say, the whole, the whole gap during pandemic uh, or um, maybe this year, uh, let's say the pro the progression will not be there this year, and and what 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 will happen the, the, within the, the next years? So uh, as I explained, uh, the, the yeah the, the, the business collapse in uh, in April and minus eighty and minus fifty percent in uh, in May, so it has a dramatic impact on our, I mean uh, total year business. Then after we for sure we we recover, but uh, we are selling only online, okay? And as I told you, and I apologize for the customers because we had really a lot of difficulties to, to deliver uh, the product because of stock availability and because of lack of space in the, the warehouse, okay? So step-by-step, uh, step, we are recovering, but uh, first of all, we don't know what's going to happen for the end of November and December if there is a lockdown and we have to close all the stores in December, which is uh, for sure a very important month uh, for us, then uh, I think we will we'll lose a, again maybe six points. So I mean we we could finish very close to the, the what we did last year, very close. Uh, but if there is a second lockdown, we have already a, a CBU and, and soon this uh, Ritsa to Mare. So maybe it's going to be a snowball. So it's it's very difficult to predict, to be honest. What we want to be sure is to be ready for the online business if the stores are closed. And yes, we'll be much more ready. I already explained before. Um, and after for, for next year, it also depends on how the pandemic will evolve. If, if there is a certain lockdown, honestly, I, I don't know. Uh, but we are confident regarding the market, regarding our DNA, our strategies. So uh, I'm confident for next year, really. Um, you've been here in Romania for, for uh, uh, more than three years, right? So um, yeah. you are familiar now with, uh, with, uh, with, with the market. How, how did you see the, the, let's say, the Romanian economy 
I mean, not necessarily authorities, but companies, entrepreneurs, how, how did they react to this, uh, this pandemic? Did, did you see them, uh, let's say, uh, brave? Did you see them uh, scared? How, how did you see them? Because uh, you, you, you have a lot of, uh, a lot of uh, experience, let's say, not uh, only Europe, but also uh, you've mentioned China. And you, you see uh, different business culture uh, everywhere. How, how did you see the, the Romanian, uh, 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 let's say, business landscape uh, uh, reaction during this pandemic times? And I'm, I'm sure that you've been in touch with, uh, with, other, with other colleagues from, from uh, uh, and maybe compare the, 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 the reaction of the Romanian business uh, environment uh, with, uh, let's say, maybe other, other uh, uh, let's say, business environment. Uh, I'm not necessarily talking about authorities. We can go also into that, but I'm interested in the, let's say, uh, the, the, the business leaders, actually, and the companies. Um, it's difficult to predict the uh, impact on the economy. But, uh, it seems that the GDP growth will finish between minus 5 minus 6%. Which remains much better than the average of the European countries, for example, compared to France at minus 10, minus 11 percent. So they are doing better. If we look at the unemployment rate, for sure there is a big increase, more than 50 percent, but it remains around 5.2, 5.3 percent in September. So uh, we 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 know that all the companies were searching for people in Romania. So. I think when you know when the recovery will start, it's gonna be okay. I'm, I think in maybe midterm, I'm I'm confident that the, the economy will uh, uh, will come back to normal. After what I appreciate, and it's not because I'm have some people who are listening to me, but what I, I like in the the mentality of the Romanian people, they are really hardworking people. Honestly, I, for sure. First of all, my, my team is amazing. But uh, so when I discuss with, uh, with uh, other companies and uh, people are really working hard, they're very responsible. So uh, for sure, it would be a, it would be a plus. And I, I discuss with a lot of retailers for sure, but not only. And yeah, they, we know that we have to transform our business model. Uh, uh, it's we have no choice. I mean, um, there's only a certainty now. Not only because of the lockdown, things are changing so fast that we have to be uh, to react, to uh, to anticipate, to go super fast, to to try um, try new things, measure. So I think that's the, the the mentality of more and more companies in in Romania. So uh, yeah, I'm, I'm confident, and I think that. Also, I, I spoke a little bit before about the authorities. They, for example, they they can see that if we th think about uh, environment, if they think about traffic condition, and I do believe that they 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 will really change also the, the way they manage cities. They will uh, they will invest more on, on these infrastructures like cycle cycle paths, like everywhere in the world. So. Uh, uh, yeah, I think things will, will change. You have a young generation coming and uh, it's a, I think it's really a, a request from the people, from the young generation to think more about the planet, to think about uh, uh, urban mobility, infrastructures. So I'm optimistic. Um, I, uh, we are close to, uh, let's say, to, to the end of our, of our talk, but uh, I want also to, to cover a little bit the, let's say, the new stores, the, the opening of new stores. Did yeah. COVID change something in, in, the, in, in your strategy of, uh, let's say, uh, uh, offline expansion? Because we understood that uh, it, was, it, it, it uh, emphasized and accelerated the online expansion and everything, uh, everything related to that. But uh, mm -hmm. how about the, the, let's say, the offline, uh, the offline experience and the... Yeah. Uh, uh, so we have 28 stores actually, and we cover most of the, the, the uh, big cities. I, I name it tier one, tier two, tier three cities. Uh, we think that we still have seven stores to open in Romania. Okay, I, I, I mentioned before Galerts, uh, Arad, 
uh, Baia Mare, we want to open another store in, uh, in Bucharest. So we, we have seven stores to, to open. Uh, yes, I would say it's, it's, it's less than before because yeah, the consumption habits of the people are, are changing. And, and when we open a store, even if it's a, let's say 800 square meter store, you, you need to have a, a minimum number of people. So a certain market value and for some counties, unfortunately, the market is not big enough. And also in these counties, very often we can see that there is a, a decreasing population, okay? But it doesn't mean that we won't find a solution for physical, okay? So I explained the reselling with the partnership with some, uh, some food retailers, for example, is, is really something that we want to do for the benefit of the, of the people living in these, uh, in these cities. So, Seven, uh, seven stores. Um, I hope we opened Brela this year, which is very successful. And uh, we want to open one or two stores next year. Okay, after it's also a question of opportunity, you know. Uh, so uh, we are searching, we're working on it. And uh, if we find a good location, um, yeah, we will, we will move on. But I, I'm thinking one or two stores. Uh, in 2021 and, and 2022. Okay, and um, the last thing before uh, we we end our uh, end our talk. Sorry for uh, um, because it's uh, beyond the 12 o'clock as we previously agreed. But I need to 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 have a recommendation coming from you, but not necessarily for the uh, leaders of big companies like uh, like Decathlon, but rather for the SMEs, for the uh, backbone of the, of the Romanian economy. Uh, what do, uh, do their, uh, let's say, managers, leaders should focus on this, uh, this, this period? What should be their top priority? Uh, but, I mean, it's not only for the, the small company, but for all the companies, it's uh, team first. Uh, I mean, we, we, we need to... Uh, to think about the safety of the team members and that for us at the same time is the customers so to perfectly respect all the sanitary measures uh, yeah to avoid any uh, bad thing for the for the team members it's clearly team first and there's no discussion for that yeah okay coming from uh, let's say the, the the biggest retailer in 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 sport it, it's always uh, about team right because in in, in, uh, in yeah. many sports even in uh, in collective, sport, collective you, work you know collective team spirit yeah clearly yeah. that that's yeah that's what i i believe in clearly. okay Okay, thank you very much for, for sharing. Nice. The, I hope uh, it was clear for the, for the people. I, 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 Merci. Uh, thank, thank you for, for sharing all this uh, information with us. Uh, thank you for all the, the people that were watching and will watch afterwards uh, our show. Uh, a good day to everyone. Thank you very much. Mulțumesc. Arrivederci.